Hi, this is Steve. Welcome to your next edition of Highlights, our special video newsletter for the CandleCharts.com family. And we're going to look in, uh, at candles in context. We've looked at other examples of that before. Essentially, looking at the candles uh, in relation to the surrounding technical picture. Trading or uh, testing candles by themselves without putting them in the context of overall market conditions, uh, risk-reward, uh, and so forth is very, very dangerous. The Japanese would say it's like writing a number on water. <laughs> Nothing substantial at all. So, with that in mind, let's look at this piercing pattern in the green semicircle. Piercing pattern, just to refresh your memory. Market's in a downtrend. We have a relatively long black real body, then a white candle that gets deeply into the uh, black real body. It has to be more than halfway into the black real body. And as uh, many of you may know, many of these candlestick signals can be used as support or resistance. So the low of the piercing pattern becomes support, and lo and behold, look what we have here. A white candle wrapping around one, two, three, bl um, sorry, two black real bodies. So this white candle wrapping around two black real bodies, uh, and that is all together now a bullish engulfing pattern. So we have a bullish engulfing pattern confirming a piercing pattern. So looks good, a test of support. Uh, however, uh-oh, there's a doji here. Now, a doji means indecision or a tired market. But let's look at the thrust of this session, candles in context. Ask yourself, yes, there's a doji here, but uh, over here, but is the market really overextended? Is it overheated? Is it overbought? In fact, the answer is obviously no. The market had a bullish engulfing pattern here. It's, uh, it's just starting a rally. It's not overbought. So a doji like this, I would not pay attention to. Same scenario here. Although the market pulled back a little bit, uh, to me, this doji is not of concern because the market is not overextended. So a good way, uh, there are many technical tools uh, that I use, Western tools, and one of them to gauge, and here's that doji I was talking about, by the way, showing us the mark, uh, this doji here. The market's not overextended. But uh, one of the technical tools that I like using from time to time, depending on the market, to gauge if the market is overbought or oversold are Bollinger Bands. And uh, although there's not a course in Western Technicals, essentially Bollinger Bands are uh, a way of gauging if the, uh, one way of using them is the gauge if the market's overextended. Uh, this is the top end of the Bollinger Band. The default is normally a 20 period moving average. Uh, and then two standard deviations above and below the uh, moving average. We don't have the moving average line in here. Essentially, it means 95% of all the price action is defined within the top and the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. And so we can see here, with the top of the Bollinger Bands at the highs in April, Apple uh, made back in December of 07, we have Doji. Uh, and these Doji, we certainly would pay attention to because of the fact they're at the top end of the Bollinger Band. So the market's overextended. I wouldn't be selling short on these doji because we have a rising window as potential support. But nonetheless, these doji, a series of three doji at the top end of the Bollinger Band, i.e. the market's overextended to the upside. Certainly uh, an alert to be careful. Same thing here. Bearish engulfing pattern, top end of the Bollinger Band. A dark cloud cover here, a little pullback on the dark cloud cover, but certainly with these series of doji showing us the market is, as the Japanese would say, losing its breath. So, again, the main theme of this session is always look at, uh, in this case, we're looking at doji in the context, uh, and this is true with most of the candlestick signals. If the market is overextended on the upside or the downside, uh, if it is, I'd be paying more attention to the candle signals. Thanks, and hope you enjoyed this.